Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? How are you doing? My name is Slightly Solid, and welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. Two things. Yes, I know I messed up my title on the layout. It says Randomize, not Randomizer, but we are just going to roll with it. Also, another thing I messed up is I've been forgetting to put the question of the days up. Got to put it on question one and two after I edit it, but I'm not going to take it down and repost it. I'm just going to leave it. We're going to roll with it. I also messed up the first video. The footage came in like a second after everything for some reason. I, well, I know the reason. I didn't put it all together properly, but it's all good. There is not many other issues besides that. I don't think. Not that I saw and not that anybody commented. But yeah, other than that, let's get right into today's video. Let's start it off with a team recap. Alright, here we are. We've got the legend himself. We got Doomy. We've got Houndoom. What a beast this guy is. He's been doing so much work with the damp ability. No item, but he's got Ember, Leer, Howl, and Smog. Next up, we got Poliwhirl, aka Swirly. With the Chlorophore chlorophyll ability hoping to get a powerful ability when he evolves um rock and no item as well with the water gun hypnosis and bubble uh next up we've got aaron also named aaron i forgot what we were gonna oh right we're gonna name him slightly bulky i've been forgetting to add slightly in front of all our names because light squad slightly either way we got aaron with the white smoke ability. Uh, not too bad. Holding a metal coat now. With headbutt, harden, mud slap, and metal claw. Once we find a name raider, we gotta nickname this guy. We also got Gooey, which is our ditto. With the huge power ability, powerful ability. But will he actually get used? Who knows? With the transform. Move. With the move transform. Jeez. Next up, we got slightly tenty. The tentacle. With the sand stream ability summons a sand storm not too sure if we're still gonna use this guy or not we're gonna keep him in the back bur burner as like death fodder or something but the only move he has is poison sting because we have slightly swirly so like we don't really need that guy next up we got slightly feisty the bug and flying who's also rocking the chlorophyll ability i don't know if we checked that out last time i forget it's been a while since i've recorded with a hondu berry let's check that out and all he knows is tackle. Um, I think we caught him at the end of last episode, so I don't know if we actually ever checked his item. Um, checked him out. All right, does anybody know what a Hondu Berry is? I don't. I forgot we got some power moves. And this Gooey to learn it. Hondu Berry. Makes a Pokemon friendly, but lowers B. A hold item that ups the critical hit in a pinch. Huh. Interesting. Either way, let's get on with today's video. Let's get right into the story and stuff. Random encounter. Can't really catch it. We've already caught it. Yo, we could add a slacking here. I'm sorry, Houndoom. Sorry, Doomy, but that would have been... Let's Ember it. I don't think he's going to do much to me. Probably only has Yawn, Scratch. Yeah, what do you... Six. I wonder what his ability is. Black off. Oh, my God. I what Slacking's ability would be. I would love to catch, like, a Vigoroth or a Slackoth. We could get a Slacking down the line. I would absolutely love that because he obviously doesn't have true on at slow starts in this not in this game either like even if he had plus or minus which is probably like the next worst ability whatever Pichu 2 Pichu's nothing oh so uh how's everyone doing today i'm doing pretty good um you know bright and early at 12 p.m. Yeah, was headed to school today. Couldn't find parking. Turned around, came back home. Um, not feeling it. I'm like, spent 20 minutes looking for parking, but like my class was starting in like five minutes. So, my parking just turned around, came back home. 
And now I'm here. So I was like, hey, I'm home. Got nothing to do. Why don't we pop up a quick recording session? And uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. But yeah, in case you guys were wondering, yes, I'm in school. I'm in college, which to some people, to some people in like the States are like, oh, that's cool. No, not really. Or uh, pretty much anybody in Canada is like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I live in Quebec, Canada, where college is just extremely messed up. The like, college is like a mix of university and high school, but nothing cool about the two. All the shitty classes for so it really sucks. But I gotta do it. Um, plus I have to deal with French too, which sucks as well. Uh, but yeah, decided to come home. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, not gonna lie, my stomach's not feeling the greatest. Well, not not even my stomach, my intestines, whatever. Like the stuff right before you poop. That's not feeling the greatest. It was my girlfriend's birthday yesterday. We went out for a nice little dinner. Uh, she decided she wanted Mexican. I'm like, I, I've never really had Mexican before. But I'm like, you know what? I'll do it. I told her I'll try it at least once. And I'm not going to lie. The food was delish. Got a nice fajita. Oof. Boy, was that filling. We also got wings because there was wings on special there. Oh, my God. God, that was really good. Um, they gave me the wrong sauce, though, for my chicken wings, which kind of sucked. I don't do well with spicy, and I, I know what you're thinking. You don't do well with spicy, but you went for Mexican. Yeah, that's one reason why stuff's not feeling too great today. Um, I know generally, like, after Mexican, you're just not feeling it. But even while eating it, oh my god, I had, oh, my bad. I had insane heartburn yesterday. Insane while I was eating oh like first one fine after the first one i'm like yeah i'll feel that in the chest but either way it was honestly worth it my steak fajita with some sour cream salsa cheese a couple bit of with a little bit of onion and peppers and stuff i cool, a little bit of lettuce not a big fan of lettuce on my stuff you know um especially since the lettuce had like radish in it too radishes in it i think um so i wasn't a big fan of that of the radish in it I was like yeah cool. radishes did we ever get cut if we got cut before continue sorry we did teach it someone I want to get some items going oh no not give my bad it's like I've never played Pokemon before <laughs> uh who's most likely not gonna get used like Tenti's gonna get used if Swirly dies so I'll use Feisty as like our HM slate. By the way, yes, everybody was able to learn it. I don't know if everybody's generally able to learn it. Um, that's like that like was in the party. Yeah, actually, we need to build down the Um, I put full HM compatibility on uh for this uh, randomizer. Um, that was mostly so we don't have to have like too many HM slaves, but like. For like Pokemon, like if a Pokemon generally can't learn that HM, I'm not gonna use that poke I'm not gonna teach that Pokemon that move. Like what's an example? Like I'm not gonna get a camera erupt and teach it surf. Let's battle May. I want some XP. EXP or whatever it's called. I think it's EXP in this. I don't think it's just XP. Yeah, let's battle. Let's go. Let's go, May. But yeah, so like I'm not gonna give a camera up sur uh, surf. Like I'm gonna keep it realistic. I just only want to have one HM slave that I could just stack a bunch of stuff on top of rather than twenty thousand. Butterfree has sandstorm. That's terrible for you. Um, but yeah, let's dominate this Butterfree. I gotta check out the levels of everybody. See if I should be switching it up a bit, uh, training somebody else up. Cause I want to keep like my core three that I have going on right now. Core three. Yeah, my core three that I got with uh, Doomy, Aeron, and Swirly. Like, I want to keep it. Um, I want to keep them around the same levels and stuff. And I think Doomy's starting to surpass it. Yeah, I think the other two are at 16, so I think we're good. And, like, same thing when, once I find my other three members or other two members, however many I decide to go with. I want to keep them all around the same level. I don't want a solo run with just one. You're going to go for an explosion, probably. Uh, I sh I shouldn't have stayed in with Doomy. Because one Ember's not going to kill. 
Oh, he has Metal Claw now. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Mudslap. Reggie still has friggin' True on. Oh, I don't think we noticed that before. No way. Oh, isn't my Mudslap getting a boost too from the uh, storm? Ah, uh, stop Metal Clawing me. Even a crit won't kill. It will kill now, so I might want to heal up. Um, Reggie Steel has true. That's a joke. I'm so glad we did not take Reggie Steel then. I don't know if we realized that before. Oh, didn't we? Because didn't we encounter him in the wild? Yeah, but I don't know if we ever found out that he had slow start, even when we encountered him. Oh, not slow start. Uh, true on. I'm just gonna let Aaron Aaron take all the XP here. This guy's only going for Metal Claw, and if it, in case he does go for an explosion, like he's probably gonna go for an explosion right when I get him into the red. Uh, I don't want uh, Houndoom to have to take the. Exp but yeah, what else were we talking about? Oh yeah, the Mexican place. So yeah, heartburn. I had heartburn while eating, and. Um, I was full the desserts look so good and I was really down for one but after I finished my last bite and I couldn't even finish my last fajita I'm like I was like I don't want dessert and my girlfriend was like I do not need dessert like I am so full that our fajita meals and my girlfriend barely eats as is it's like a pigeon she eats so little um, and we got fajitas and chicken wings we got eight chicken wings each she ate like two maybe Took the rest home. Because, like, we got chicken wings, too, because chicken wings were, like, 50 cents a wing that day. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm down. Um, and they were good chicken wings. And on top of it, like, I got a nice brewski to have with my with my uh, meal. And she got a nice margarita. Margarita? What's the one made with tequila? I think that's a margarita, right? I gotta look this up. Because of margarita. Margarita. Yeah. Tequila. Yeah. She got a nice margarita. It was pretty good. She got a four ounce instead of a two ounce, and she instantly regretted that. Wait. She's tiny, so she got hammered like not even a third of the way through the drink. She was already hammered. And then, like, at, as we're leaving, she still had like half of it left. So she had essentially chugged it down till there was like maybe an eighth of the drink left and then she's like I can't have any more. She's like I can't do it. She's like I can't do it but she felt so bad because her drink costed just as much as the meal. That gave me no XP. Oh my god. No EXP. It is EXP. Um, but yeah I didn't really care. She didn't finish it. Not like gonna get mad at her. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, finish it. Yeah, finish your meal or else. Yes, I'm not gonna do that. But, um, it was really good. Uh, and like I said, it filled us right up. We did not need dessert or anything afterwards. Um, even though the desserts looked so good, like they had churros, they had deep fried ice cream, they had this like deep fried cheesecake. That came with a scoop of ice cream. I wanted it so bad, but I'm like, I am so full. And uh, so, yeah, I didn't get it. I think the next time I go, I'm going to get it. The next time I go, like I'm only just going to get a meal. I'm not going to get an appetizer, too. You know, like one of the appetizers I do want to try is like it comes with like three mini burgers with like spicy mayo. Not a big fan of, but, you know, I'll deal with it. Uh, but it also comes with like cheese bacon and caramelized onion. In case you do live in Quebec, um, or like anywhere near me, um, I live in the Montreal area of Quebec. Montreal's still huge, I don't mind saying. I live in the Montreal area. Um, it's Carlos and Pepe's. It's in Vaudreuil. Uh, hey, a Shedinja, that could have been cool. I wouldn't mind a Shedinja, even though it's ability, because it's ability doesn't get randomized. So, it's still Wonder God, no matter what. 
And thank God I have Doomeen. Hit it. Uh, I'm really afraid to start running some Wonder Guards considering we only have three like Pokemon that are actually viable. So I don't know if we cover all the bases, uh, all like the different types that I need to hit, but uh, hopefully we do. But we'll worry about that when it comes down to it. I think we have somebody who know who has a sleep move. Yeah. We found a light ball. So if we ended up catching that Pikachu, uh, that Pichu, that wouldn't have been too bad because light ball I think is like a, a ball only. Yeah, it raises a special attack of Pikachu. Uh, shell bow, hold item that restores HP on striking the foe. I just want to give that. Give that to do me. I don't know if by striking they mean it has to make contact or not, but yeah. Give, give that to do me for a little bit of residual HP. I don't know if there's any hidden items in this little area. Um, yeah. I don't know where all the hidden items are, I'm not going to lie. So if I miss any, you can let me know in the comment section. Um, I know where a couple are, but like, I know a couple early game, but come late game? No. I don't know where anything is. In well, I know where to go in late game, I just don't know where anything is. I say I know where to go, but I'm probably going to mess it up. How did I miss that? There we go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stop talking. Stop talking. Let's just go. Let's I'll probably do the cave before I do the gym just to get a little more. Uh, we'll just get encounters because we have a lot of encounters coming up. Although we're going to be stuck on one island, actually a lot of different routes there. And I don't plan on coming back here to surf. Uh, so we can actually just totally take out a fishing rod and just grab a bunch of different encounters. Because it's not a one for one trade for um, like where Pokemon would be, end up being. So like I should be able to catch mo multiple different Pokemon with the old rod. Rod, like right here. Oh, I didn't make sure I have Pokeballs. Do I have Pokeballs? I have a decent chunk. We might need to end up. Let's go. Give me the fishing rod. But yeah, back on the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, so I had heartburn last night. And now when I came after dinner last night, I had heartburn. Plus, like... I had the shits and not even just the shits like mean this morning oh it hurt to take a poop it was a little bit of burning um but you know what we're good we're good we're we're nice and refreshed now now we're in a pretty decent spot all right let's grab a fishing encounter on this route not even a nibble well you barely even tried let's go to a corner corners are generally better if i'm not mistaken i think that's what i heard from a drive i know in the I took my hands off the keyboard. That's my bad. I know in the later generations it is. Apparently fishing in corners grants, grants you a higher chance of encounters, apparently. I was clicking A! Yeah. Thank God. Um, I don't know if that works in this too. Ooh, a Lunatone. Yeah, I... Yeah, I... Yeah, I... Plus, we already have a rock type. Like, the psychic type. I would not mind a psychic type, but, like, I have a rock. Okay, so I do restore even with, um, oh, wow, it restored one. That might be a waste. Ooh. Get some damage off. Yeah, restore your HP. Um... All right, let's throw a Pokeball. I'm still going to try to catch it, because why not? Well, it's a, it's a backup pair in case Aaron dies. Not a backup pair. Thing like this, a freaking uh, Soul Link or something. The backup Pokemon in case uh, Aaron dies or something. Uh, let's go for the Pokeball again. Does somebody know Sleep Powder? You don't. Oh, Swirly knows Hypnosis. Right. So I'm actually going to take Doomy out from in front and put uh, Swirly in front. Give a nickname slightly.
slightly... Not psychic because I was typing, but slightly because, like... Um... Slightly... Slightly spacey? Hmm? Slightly moony? Slightly bright? I like that because he shines at night, slight, slightly night. I'm slightly bright. Slightly bright. Bright T or slate. Because I think we're ending. Yeah, we've been ending any everything with an I, right? Slightly. Slightly curvy. Like a same him slightly curvy. I like that. Because circle, right? So he's curvy. Slightly curvy. All right, now we've got our Duford Town encounter. Okay, try that again. No, I was spamming it. Not even a nibble. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, there was a delayed reaction on that one. Not gonna lie, I was waiting for another dot. A mighty Anna. Another good substitute. Like, um, he's not better than Houndoom for sure. I'm for sure keeping Houndoom as my dark type. You know Intimidate. That's sick. Isn't that Mighty Anna's actual ability? Wait, didn't we already know this? That's my bad. I got caught up in the moment. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Let's put Swirly out in front to grab some uh, uh, XP if he accidentally kills something, and also to uh, well, that's not like grab some um, hypnosis is off, so we can put people to sleep. All right, this is our third. After this, we have one more encounter. Oh my god i love vibrava i love his evolution but like ground dragon that would be so sick especially for our team bubble actually i don't think oh Ibrava has wonder guard that's broken i can't hit him oh that's easy training too that means Cause like nothing's gonna be able to hit him unless I run into an ice type. Uh, ice. What else hits him? Fairy doesn't exist. Gotta be something. Else. Well, ice dragon. What's ground weak to? That I can't think of right now. Up water, water, grass. Ground weak to anything else? Ice. No, I'm not going to throw another one until I put him back to sleep. I gotta double check that he's not weak to anything else. Go for the hypnosis. He's only weak to ice, fairy, and dragon. So, and in this, I think it's still the same thing. First weaknesses. Sick. Oh, that's broken. Stand, stand, let's go. Let's go. My Bravo was caught. Um a vibration Pokemon. We're gonna name him slightly vibey. Slightly vibey. It's right there. It was right there. Vibe. That's good for me. I think that might say Vibby, but it's okay. 
Oh, let's get this man out of the PC right this instant. Pop quick heal. Actually, oh yeah, wait. He's gonna be, he's in the PC, so he's fully healed. Okay. Let's grab him first, then heal. But no, he's in the PC, so he's fully healed. No, I clicked A too many times. Let's go. Who Pokemon? We're gonna pick you up. Actually, while we're here, we're gonna check out um, Lunatown. Summary. Rock and Psychic. He's got the he's got a Flame Body ability. Burns the following contact. Not bad. Tackle Harden and Confuse. Not bad. Um, have by Brava. Move, move up one. No, up one. Not what I meant to do. I know this is pointless. Me. Uh, summary. The Vibrava named Vibe with Wonder Guard. Only super effective hits with Bite, Sand Attack, Fane Attack, and Sound Tomb. Sound. Sand. May cause flinching, faint attack, breaks foe without fail. So. Alright, well, let's go grab our last encounter. Uh, while we grab this one, I'm actually going to train up on the way. Right now, I really want to train up Aaron, though, to get to him to 16. I don't know if Ra Vibrava is going to be part of this uh, thing. I've done nothing this episode, and we're already at 20 minutes. Jesus, are we even gonna get to take on the gym? Uh, yeah, we'll take on the gym. I think depending on how my levels look. That's the big thing 20 ish minutes, maybe 25. I forget my recording says 27, but I started it and I didn't start the thing right away Both months lap A lot that's a lot Accuracy fell let's hope that does enough Okay, raise your attack all you want. Uh, and now I think, I think a headbutt will just kill. I know it's not stab and it's not super effective, but yeah, exactly. All right, beauty, grab some levels here. If I could get them all to like level 16, 17, I think that should be good. I think the gym's highest level is 19. Be too real quick. Still at the same time, it's like, unless my last encounter in here is pure power, then we're gonna do the cave. Maybe cut the episode short so I can train up, and I'm just gonna train everybody to 16, like including Vibrava and stuff. That might be the play either way. Then again, if it's anything that hits like my Pokemon hard, I do have um. I do have Wonder Guard by Bravo that could just take anything that guy has to offer. Sure, Encore me, Spiel. That's just gonna kill you now for sure. Probably would've been dead either way, even if I used Headbutt. I'm actually so down for a Wonder Guard. But yeah, if you live in Montreal, I highly recommend Carlos and Pepe. Don't take like the shits and the heartburn. Like, don't take that as in I'm telling you not to go. No, go. I wanted to go for my Oh, okay. I don't even care that I didn't go for Mudslap now. Um, Metal Claw just did so much to that guy. And that was our evolution, buddy. We're going to get to that point one day. All right, slightly bulky. Uh, coughing. Um, he doesn't have Levitate now, so let's go Vibe. Grab Vibe some levels. I could just easily go for a nice, um, nice old faint attack. And I didn't want to use Metal Claw against them, even though I think we only had one more Metal Claw on us that was Encored. Round not super effective against Poison in this gen or something. Poison does. Oh, I went for faint attack. And two. That's better. Still didn't do it as much as I was expecting. Did it say that was super effective? Oh, that sucks though that smog could still hit us. 
Because it's a status move. Did main attack do more before? Critical hit. It's super effective. Okay. Alright. Well, before I can go through the thing. Actually, do I have a Petra? How come I have a Petra Barry? I don't feel like going all the way back. Let's enter even right here. I just feel like going into the thing. I didn't want your number. Slightly gooey. Oh no, wait. What am I saying slightly gooey? I meant slightly vibey. A spell tag? Alright, well, I don't have a ghost type. No, there's one there, and there's also one here. A white herb? Not bad. If we find somebody that can use Shell Smash. Not bad. So if we grab like a Torkoal or something, but Torkoal probably won't be used. Um, anything else? Yeah, give me Flash and take it, but like I'm not gonna use it. So hypothetically, we do need Flash to get through this cave because it's gonna be dark. But I generally know where to go. Not generally, pretty straightforward where to go. White flute. All right. Oh, I wanted to go to the second floor to get grab my encounter. Oh, Dragonair's not bad. I might take two Dragon types in all honesty. Dragonair evolves so late. That's the problem I have with Dragonair. It went for Metal Claw. I don't know if it's gonna kill or not. I'm playing that. I'm playing my encounters very stupid. Thank you. Pokemon. I think he has a high. A low capture rate, high capture rate. Hard to catch him, so I want to get the uh, sleep on him too. Can't even get out. Okay. What am I gonna name this guy if I catch him? I don't. I have no clue. Um. Let's go for a Pokemon, see what that what happens. That's a one. That's two. Ah, that's only a two. Dragon air is fast. Alright, let's go for another one. But yeah, like I was saying before, don't take what I've been saying about Carlos and Pepe is about how it gave me heartburn and the shits. As a bad thing, it was really good food. That's just Mexican for you. Mexican's gonna do that. So if you like Mexican, you know that it's gonna do that to you. You should go definitely go try Carlos and Pepe's. Like it, it was good. Um, hashtag not sponsored. Not. Um, what are we gonna name this guy? Slightly, slightly flappy. Now, why slightly flappy? Um, a when Dra when he turns to a dragonite, he gets like really tiny wings, so he's just like he's mu he must flap them, to be able to fly, and also his ears are like little flaps, and that's what I was looking at when I came up with the name. Um, so yeah, all right, we come up here. Let's see what I could have gotten done. Oh, I'm so mad. I told you, usually my second floor has better encounters. If I could have just gotten a straight up Dragonite, that would have been so nice. Not wait till level 50 or something to get him. Like, when does Dragonite evolve? When does Dragonair evolve? Dragonair. According to Bulbapedia, Bulba Garden. He evolves starting at level 55. 55. Headbutt. Yeah, don't try to lower my stats, Dragonite. We got an issue here? I'm gonna fight you. Uh, has anybody been able to tell his ability? Because I haven't. Let me know in the comments down below if it kind of like spoiled his ability. Uh, because if it's power, then definitely use him. Did you do do? I think after we get through this cave, I'm just going to call it a wrap. I think we're actually going to be at 30 minutes after this cave. I know we didn't do a lot in this today's episode. We are going kind of slow. But I'm hoping that's okay. Um, 
Next episode, we're going to take on the first gym and head to Slateport, which means we're finally going to name Aaron. Uh, in between episodes, though, I am going to do a bit of grinding to grab... Um, just get everybody up some couple levels. I'm either going to grind them out to, like... I'll probably grind them out to level 17 or 18. Um, and, yeah, go from there. Um, we're also going to get a TM right now from Steven. And we're all... Actually, before we end the episode, we're going to go see what that Dragonite air was. What was he rocking? Dragonair? Yeah, because the first one's Dratini. So, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite. Uh, we're going to go check out to see what the Dragonair is rocking. See if we're going to add him to the team or not. I think I'm going to add him to the team. I think that is going to be the play. Uh, ooh, Raichu. I wouldn't have minded Raichu because it gives us an electric type. But like same time, like, eh, do I need a Raichu? Not really. Like, I would have preferred the Dragonite over the Raichu. Hey. YB, get in here. Hey, because this won't affect you. Hey, because you're ground type, so it won't affect you. Plus, you have one to guard, so. Uh, sent you. And let's get you some XP. Oh. I thought that would have done so more. It should have went for faint attack. Oh, yeah, he was a normal type. I'm definitely. Pain attack or bite, they both do 60. Gets a lot of dark type moves for somebody that's not a dark type. He should have been bug. Bug dragon, definitely. Yeah. But he isn't. Yeah, he's not a bug dragon, and he won't. Who's I have? Why is Poison Tail? Might not be too bad on him. I found a moonstone. Ooh, not bad. Those are hard to come by. Kind of funny that I found it at that too. I don't know what that like, just a, a random stone, but like, that that could look like uh, a moonstone type of thing, like a me moon meteor that crashed. Speaking of moonstone, eh? Skitty evolves with the moonstone, does it not? Skitty. According to on database. Number two, ninety-nine. No, number. Three. Okay. Okay. Skitty. I don't know if you guys heard. I don't know if you guys can hear my phone in these. I forgot to check. Uh, under skit. Under skit. How's the accuracy of all stat status moves targeted by the above? Huh. Yeah, Skitty evolves with a moonstone. That's so ironic. First the Dragonair, then finding the Dragonite after I'm literally saying my second floor encounters are always better. Um, and it's literally the better version of Dragonair. Uh, TM, present. You. I wanted power and you gave me present. <sighs> and you're supposed to be the champion. So we'll move out of the way because the new champion's coming. We're going to win this, Nuzlocke. Nothing's going to stop us. I don't know why I checked my party. Uh, I just want to double check that this is present. Oh, I know what's getting sold. Present is definitely good. Especially since it could even heal the enemy. Like, it's getting sold. When we get to Slate Port City, that's going to be a big sell. Alright, so let's heal up the team. Get him ready for a nice grinding sesh. I don't know if I'm going to have, like, a record, like a grinding montage. I might. I might have a grinding montage in the next episode. I could have. I could do that. I think I could do a grinding montage. Uh, move Pokemon. Especially just in case anything dies. Yeah. Alright. Ditto, you're gone. It was nice having you. I don't know. I'm just not that big of a fan of Ditto. I know he has huge power and stuff, but... A plus ability. 
Dragon, obviously, with Rap, Leer, Thunder, and Twist. Alright, well, um, that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you guys all enjoyed. At the next episode, we are going to take on the next gym after I do a little bit of a grinding session. So you probably see a little bit of a grinding session at the beginning of next episode. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, leave a like in the comment. Uh, leave a like in the comment section. No, if you did, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, you ever did a question of the day? You know what, I was talking about Mexican food. Um, what is your favorite type of food? Whether it's Mexican, Italian, uh, stuff like that. Like, I talked to Mex about Mexican today because of the Mexican dinner I ate last night. But my favorite type of food, probably Italian. I am Italian, and I really love some pasta. I love some pizza, stuff like that. I know pizza's not technically Italian. I like pizza. Blah, blah, blah. Like, your cliche Italian type of meal. Like, I, uh, I love going to Scaroli's. I don't know if that's a fr franchise chain or if it's a one-off here. But, like, they got some pasta and stuff. And they got, like, nice. I just love going to sit down. Pasta place, getting some bread with you. You get your plate of pasta. And they just come with a Parmesan grater. They're like, would you like some Parmesan? And I'm like, yes. And then they just go. And they go, tell me when to stop. And I go, you could keep going. Just bring the block of cheese. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it lets me know that you guys are loving the series. And you guys are liking the content that's getting brought to you guys. Either way, I hope you did enjoy.